So greetings and aloha. It's Mike's. Say it again. And Gracie there. <laughs> so um, this is hardly a. Uh, this is hardly the end of our trip. In fact, this is our first few hours. Uh, our first few hours here on Ko Si Chong. Sorry, on Ko Chong, because I know we stay at Si Chong. Now I did want to point this out. That this sign is now, I didn't put it there, but it absolutely is on the ground. <laughs> so that says to me, this is entry all day long. Plus, it never actually was, you know, across where the humans could walk. So anyway, got my gimbal, which I'm really happy about. A lot of people actually probably would not like this gimbal because it's arguably pretty, quite heavy. But the Zhiyun uh, is the model. And it's quite awesome, actually. I mean, it's got a lot. Well, the other nice thing about it being big and too heavy is the battery's large. So anyway, so the reason we're here is because we were driving down the street just past the park back there. And the reason that we stopped at the park is because we drove by and there was a sign that said park. So I parked at the park and we went in and we obviously did the waterfall, a video that you likely have seen before this one. Uh, and then just before this little road on the street coming this way, and by this way, I mean we are heading south on the east side of the island, um, it said scenic area. And I'm like, oh yeah? I'll be the judge. So, should we take a wedding picture here? Yeah. At the, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. That's a good idea. So Gracie changed her clothes. Because ten, ten Dude, check ten out bot. this dress. Ten, ten bot. If you guys are familiar with the... Uh, the Bukau uh, Weekly Market, which is Tuesdays and Fridays, on Soi Bukau, and Pathé South Road. Uh, but the other reason I wanted to come here is there's some degree of sort of romance with these, uh, well, sunken ships. <laughs> uh, some of them are sunk like an inch into the water, some go a full uh, meter or so, and then the other ones basically are based on the amount of water that the tide comes in, which could mean all of it. And uh, so that's pretty interesting. Anyway, there's something like, I don't know why, but like interestingly romantically sad about that, but romantic. And uh, so yeah, I would refer to this as a scenic area. This is like kind of an area and it's scenic, so it's a scenic area. If you're from Boston, you're familiar with uh, the classic scenic area. There are certain places that I can walk on and hang out in and stare at for hours on end and never get bored. Piers are one of those places. Beaches, sand, where the water laps up against the beach. That's another location. It's almost... Yeah, I know. Maybe that's why they're like, do not enter. Yeah, well, that's kind of like, don't fall in the hole. Or you could step over it. Einstein. Anyway, um, hey Jay, before I forget, because I don't think I, I, compl I responded. Ah, uh, this is going to be my lucky rock, and I'm going to throw it in the water, because it's the only rock on this pier. And, uh, try and adjust this. There we go. But yeah, I'm going to make a wish, then I'm going to throw this at the ocean. That wish will come true. This right here, that's kind of a postcard thing going on right there, doesn't it? Maybe right there. Or maybe like, maybe like right there. Like that little tree at the end. The little tree that could, like Charlie Brown Christmas tree kind of thing going on. Um, Jay, thank you for uh, what you said. I, I, I like my outlook on life too. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, it can, it can be contagious. I can tell you that it's not like I, it's not like I invented good mood. So, before I forget, let me just say to Jay, thank you for uh, acknowledging my outlook on life. I, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty damn grateful that I can, uh, well, have a good life.
Ah, so this is interesting. So this is like recording and then stopping recording. And I have well over 20 gigs of free space. I have a feeling that this phone is doing a couple of things. One uh, is aging. And the result of that... So before it would heat up and record and now it just heats up and stops recording. So I can... So I did, uh, I have 18% battery, which probably by the time that I just said this, is probably like 17, 16. And for some reason my phone was unable to record video for more than 10 seconds. So I just restarted it and I also turned off data in case there's any sort of reason. But it was heating up and obviously the sun is beating down big time here. Um, it, it doesn't get cooler in Thailand just because there's less people, <laughs> I've discovered. Uh, but I will tell you that, uh, anyway, this is one of my more favorite places in the whole world, which is basically a pier. And I'm a big fan of taking long walks on short piers. I'm even a bigger fan of taking long walks on long piers, which is what Gracie and I are doing right now. I can see the video jittering, so I have a feeling that this is going to be unpleasurable for me here. But I'll up And with the last few moments of battery here, I'll give you guys a sweeping bucket of awesome here from Kochang. I highly recommend Kochang. The coolest thing about it is it's out of the way. The downside for it for many is that it's out of the way. Um, getting here is, uh, so even, well, to be fair, like I'm on vacation, right? Ever since November of 2019. But <laughs> the point is, is that, uh, you know, we're in no hurry. In fact, I regularly pull over and actually let people pass me. Motorbikes, you know, cars, you know, trucks, whatever. Because uh, I'm just like, look, I, I'm in no hurry, dude. If you want to go around me, I got more than enough room. I got more than enough time for the rest of my life to enjoy, to enjoy this. So I'm in no hurry to get to a destination necessarily. Although, you know, it was interesting. So last night we're like cruising around. I really like to have a place to stay by about 4 or so p.m. 5 at the absolute. 